COVID-19 is already having an effect on tourism. KITV4's Diane Ako talked with the head of the state's largest hospitality group, the Hawaii Tourism and Lodging Association. He says we're open for business. Tourism is Hawaii's biggest industry and is definitely impacted by the coronavirus scares. Hawaii Lodging and Tourism Association's President and CEO Mufi Hanum is here to talk to us a uh, little bit more about how his industry is reacting. First of all, explain, you are a member group representing how many hotels and lodging groups around the state? Well, we're the largest private sector visitor industry organization in the state, consisting of hotels uh, as well as uh, businesses that are affiliated with tourism, uh, be it shopping centers, airlines, ground transportation companies and like. So we have over 700 members. So you definitely are in touch with how the membership is feeling about the coronavirus panic? Oh, absolutely. Every day we're constantly communicating with each other, sharing information as we receive it, uh, and then also collaborating very closely with Hawaii Tourism Authority and Hawaii Visitors and Convention Bureau. Can you give me an idea what the mood is among uh, the industry members? Well, right now there's obviously a serious concern with what's going on. Uh, we're seeing some uh, decline in businesses, cancellations. Uh, we've had to cancel some events here locally, as we've seen occur. Uh, but at the same time, we're redoubling our efforts to ensure that we still remain a very safe and healthy and clean environment to come and visit. So within our confines of the hotels and our businesses, we're doing all we can to ensure that whether you are a visitor, whether you are a resident uh, or an employee, you know that we're taking it very seriously. Everything from hand sanitizers all over the place to uh, redoubling our efforts to make sure common places are clean mm -hmm. and the like. So uh, it's an opportunity for us to kind of really band together uh, and try to share that information on a timely basis. I also will say that it's important for us to continue to communicate with government. And we've got an excellent cooperation uh, from the governor on down, and now the lieutenant governor is in charge of this effort uh, to ensure that we're all on the same page. Can you speak specifically to Hawaii's unique role as the gateway between East and West? We have so many tourists from Japan and China, and that was ground zero for COVID-19. How is that uh, perhaps specifically impacting Hawaii's tourism industry as different from perhaps others on the mainland? Yeah, well, we are very dependent upon the Japanese market. That's always been our number one international market, some 1.5 million visitors that come here. So we're watching that very closely. Uh, fortunately, uh, Japan is still very much sending visitors here, uh, and we want that to continue to happen. Uh, we um, note with great interest, however, that there's problems with South Korea and with China. But we think if the Japanese continue to come, we may not uh, be as impacted as greatly as uh, some may think. That being said, we also have to keep a watchful eye on the domestic market because we do have you know, a lot of visitors from the West Coast. Mm -hmm. So those are two areas that we're keeping a watchful eye on to make sure that we don't see any trend that indicates that we really are heading south. Yes, the West Coast is definitely our biggest domestic driver for tourism. So with the number of cases on the United States West Coast, as well as in Japan and China, do you think that the businesses here have had to react in ways like perhaps offering discounts or coming up with creative marketing? Well, there's no question uh, everybody's starting to prepare a contingency plan. So we're not at that point yet where we're going into that plan, but it's been very wise for us uh, to start doing that. And in our constant communication and dialogue, I know that everyone's thinking the same way. It's no different than the legislature now also looking for emergency appropriation uh, in case this starts to hit. They're moving legislation through to provide additional funding. So I think everyone's on that same page uh, to prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Thank you, Mufi Hanneman, President and CEO of Hawaii Lodging and Tourism Association. And the message from him is Hawaii is still open for business. We are in Waikiki. Diana Co, KITV4 Island News.